subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the pH and TH diagram for the condition of superheating. So, let's get started. So superheating means that the vapor at the entry to the compressor is superheated. I'll start with the diagram. So on this curve, the left hand side portion of the curve indicates saturated liquid line, right hand side is saturated vapor line, whatever is to the right side of the vapor line is superheated region. So this entire region is superheated. And whatever is there onto the left of saturated liquid line is the subcooled region. And in between is the wet region. Now the condition is vapor at the entry to the compressor is superheated. For that, first draw two light horizontal lines indicating constant pressure. As the point number one is superheated, so it would be in this region. This is point one because at entry to the compressor, the pressure is low that is evaporator pressure. So evaporator pressure is at the bottom. I'll denote evaporator pressure as P suffix E and the above one is the compressor uh, condenser pressure which is P suffix E higher pressure. Now since it is superheated at the entry to the compressor after compression it again is superheated further and the pressure increases. So this is point number second. indicating the superheated compression then after coming out from the compressor at point 2 the vapor enters the condenser where it condenses into saturated liquid so this point 2 would go to the left hand side up to the saturated liquid line indicating point 3 now after condensation that is at point 3 the vapor or the liquid refrigerant not the vapor the liquid refrigerant goes into the expansion valve or throttling valve which is constant enthalpy throttling so this is point four and at point number four that is after throttling where the pressure reduces from condenser to evaporator pressure at point four it enters the evaporator as liquid refrigerant and it goes on absorbing the heat from point four to point one and when it is absorbing the heat, the enthalpy increases. So this would be the refrigeration effect from H1, H4 to H1. I'll indicate the enthalpies in the diagram. H4 is equal to H3, constant enthalpy. This is H1. Here we have H2. We are going to experience the refrigeration effect from 4 to 1. That is, this would be indicating Re, H1 minus H4, basically refrigeration effect. Then, this H2 minus H1 is the work or the power which is consumed by the compressor then after completing the diagram over here I'll draw the TS diagram for that drawing two constant pressure lines 
द हायर प्रेशर इज कंडेन्सर प्रेशर लोअर प्रेशर इज इवेपोरेटर प्रेशर and in a similar manner like i have indicated saturated liquid line on left it would be here also saturated liquid over right it is saturated vapor similarly over here whatever right to the saturated vapor is superheated region over here similar and to the left of saturated liquid line is the subcooled region now point number 1 would be plotted on the ts diagram in the superheated region so it is over here and it is isentropic compression so entropy remains constant and the temperature increases from t1 to point t2 then it is seen that at 1 it is superheated at 2 it is further superheated the temperature increases and then it will be entering the condenser at point 2 and it gets condensed into saturated liquid up to point 3 then it is constant enthalpy throttling so it is shown with the help of a curve which was shown by a constant vertical line in ph diagram here it is curve at point 4 the liquid refrigerant comes out from the throttle valve or expansion valve and enters the evaporator from 4 to 1 it will go on continuously absorbing the heat from the evaporator this point which has been crossed on the saturated vapor line i'll denote it as 1 dash similarly at the top where it was crossing the vapor line that is indicated as 2 dash similarly we can say over here that the heat is absorbed by the refrigerant during process 4 to 1 it is qa the heat absorbed by the refrigerant or we are going to feel the refrigeration effect and during 1 to 2 the work of compression is consumed and now we can see that whenever we have superheated region the temperature of the refrigerant is far greater and next i'll write the formula for cop of the refrigerant and cop for this case is given by refrigeration effect upon work input the refrigeration effect we are feeling into the evaporator so it is h1 minus h4 and the work input is to the compressor h2 minus h1 so therefore the cop final formula would be h1 minus since h4 and h3 are same and it is easier to find the values on the saturation curve so h4 will be replaced by h3 and these things we are going to see in the problems further so this is the cop formula for the given condition one thing we can take from this ph diagram or for superheated region that when we are increasing or sending the vapor in the superheated form into the compressor at that time the refrigeration effect increases drastically because if this point would have been on to the dry line like for example over here then the refrigeration effect would have been quite less and similarly if this point would have been into the wet region somewhere over here then the refrigeration effect would have been reduced further so it is seen from this ph diagram that when we make the vapor enter the compressor as superheated into the compressor the refrigeration effect goes on increasing and that is what is desired for us we want a higher refrigeration effect so we have seen what is the ph and th diagram for a superheated region or superheated vapor and at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you'll can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching